Welcome back. This is a three-phase balance power problem. It's a really um, interesting problem. It's simple, but it's got a lot of kind of neat things in there. So we're given English, all right? It's a word problem. And kind of the hardest part is just understanding the words and turning that into math and pictures. So you're told that the per phase, which means, although you're not told that, but this means when they say per phase, they mean line to neutral, okay? Uh, complex power, S, so that's S5, uh, that's the per phase complex power, S is the complex power and phi is the symbol you, we use for per phase. This is giving us 144 plus J192 and it's complex power so it has uh, volt amperes. So you're told that. And then the other thing you're told is the two phase, which is also a very confusing term, but when they say two phase, what they mean in this case is line to line. So we're talking, we're using the term two phase in the context of three phase power. There are other uses of the term two phase. Anyway, this is what they mean. They mean line to neutral and line to line. Those are the most clearest terms that I think, line, line to neutral and line to line. So anyway, the two phase, which they mean line to line voltage is, so we use the symbol V sub L for one of the line voltages, it's 2450 volts. And this is a, uh, they're telling you that it's a balanced Y connected load, all right? And then we're asked to find a couple of things, magnitude of the line current. So they don't say which one, they just say the magnitude of the line current. So this is what they mean, I phase, one of the line currents. There's gonna be three line currents. And then they, they wanna find the magnitude of the load resistance. So they're asking for R of the load and the reactance. <clears throat> X of the load. Okay, so here's where it gets interesting. They haven't told you a super whole lot in these sentences here, but there's a lot of information in there going on in the system. So I think it's it's good to draw some diagrams here and just think about what's going on. So first of all, we've got these. Um, line and phase voltage diagram. So we've got this little thing here where we've got these phase voltages and then we've got the associated line voltages which are root three bigger and, and 30 degrees separated. So, th so this is like, for example, this could be VAN and this could be VAB. So here I'm just choosing VAN to be on zero. I mean, it's sort of arbitrary where you how you turn this, but let's do it that way. Since they're not giving any phase angles here, they're just giving a magnitude of the line voltage and the, um, yeah, they're not giving an angle on that. Um, so we've got that. So there's, let's just say, just to review here, there's three line voltages and three line, uh, and three phase, three phase voltages. Okay. These short arrows are the, phase voltages or line to neutral and these long arrows are the line voltages or line to line. Okay, we, we know that. The other thing that we know is this is a balanced Y connected load. You know, let's draw that because there's a lot going on here. So let's take the time to draw this thing. So we've got ZA going to neutral and then we've got these other two loads. We've got ZB and ZC going to terminals, these terminals. So this is the load side, okay? And then coming into this guy, we've got I sub A 
and there'll be I sub B and I sub C coming into these guys. But uh, we've got this, and then and then there's power leaving each one of these guys, and that's what they've told us here. The per phase complex power. Yeah, so per, actually, you know what? This line to neutral doesn't really apply to power. It's just yeah, it's uh, if so. I, that's my mistake. So if they if they're talking about per phase in the context of voltage, they mean line to neutral. But we're talking about we're talking about power here. So there's S phase coming off of this phase. You know, line to line, line to neutral doesn't really matter for power. Sorry about that. Anyway, there's S also coming off of this phase, and there's S coming off of this phase. Okay, line to neutral applies to to voltages not to power but uh, anyway we, we still have per phase power okay so it's good to go through this and and think about what's happened here because it's confusing there's a lot of information packed into these couple of little sentences here let's see so the other thing we know is you're given this complex power you're given the p and the q Right? You're given the amount of um, real or average power, P, that's being dumped here in per phase, and the Q. So this S ha has a P component and a Q component, and likewise for these other two S's. So, so let's just draw that. So it, this is, it looks like this. This is uh, P for this phase. It's, uh, it's 144. And Q for this phase is 192. And S for this phase is, which I, if you work this out, if you do the, if you solve Pythagoras or, or, or um, just put this in polar form, you, uh, you're going to get 240 here. All right. And then this angle comes out. This 53 degrees comes out. If you solve, if you solve this rectangular, per phase power, right, and draw the little diagram relating the real and uh, imaginary components of the complex power, you get this 53. So this 53 is basically, it's theta sub phi. It's the, it's the um, phase shift between the current and the voltage. So let's draw that. So th that shows up it shows up a couple places. It shows up in the power here, but it also shows up in Z. So the same triangle or the same Z would have the same shape. It would have an R value and an X value and Z sub phi would be here. And so right now all we know is that Z sub phi ha has this angle 53 degrees. And it, okay, we don't know what R and X are. We don't know what Z phi is yet either. But we know with this phase angle that's packed in this in this information here. Okay, so what I'm saying is that the power has a phase angle, which means the um, it gives you the difference between the real power and the reactive power. Okay, and impedance has that same phase angle, and it gives you the relationship between the the resistance and the reactance. And this 53, what is it really, what else does it mean? It means the phase shift between the voltage and the current. So in back to the time domain, if there's a, there's a V signal, and we don't know its magnitude right now, but we, know, we do know that there's an I signal, and these guys are off by 53 degrees, theta sub phi. Okay, so we, we this, is, this is the stuff we, this is the stuff we know we know right now, just just from just from this little bit of information we know all of this junk right here. All right, so let's solve this thing. So we're trying to find magnitude of the line current I sub phi. We just want to know the magnitude of one of these line currents. There's three line currents going into each one of these terminals here. Right, there's I, I, B going in this guy, and there's I, C going in this guy. They all have the same magnitude, but they differ by some phase angle. 
And then we're asked to find um, these two values, the r and the uh, and the um, x in one of these loads. In fact, I could I could blow this. I could expand this a little bit. Let's just take just to be clear. Let's take z sub uh, z sub a and just break it up a little bit. There's a oops a terminal and neutral terminal. And so there's I sub A going in this dude. Oops, gosh, that turned out pretty. There's I sub A going in here and there, um, there's going to be a voltage across this V sub A N. And um, this is going to be, there's going to be two components in here. There's a reactance and a resistance. There's an X and an R. That's what's inside this Z sub A box. Also, because this is a balanced three-phase system, that's also what's inside the Z B box and the Z C C box. These three boxes have the same impedance, which means they're dumping the same power. Okay, so our strategy is um, first we're going to solve for V A N because if we had that, we could use this formula here, this S sub phase is VAN I sub A conjugate. And then we have this thing, Ohm's law. That's the strategy. All right. So V sub AN is a phase, is a phase voltage. We're given a line voltage magnitude. So let's write that out. So what we're, what we're saying is this magnitude of the line voltage uh, I don't really need these absolute but they don't hurt but I do need them here it's in other words the uh, this given line voltage is, is the magnitude of VAB it's also the magnitude of V uh, CA and V BC right they have the same magnitude so let's write that out Those guys all have the same magnitude, which is given as 2450 volts. So V phase is the magnitude of the line to neutral, also known as the phase voltage, these short arrows, right, which also has the same magnitude as VBN and VCN. And that's root 3 smaller. Okay, so that works out to 14. 1414.5 volts. <clears throat> so now we can use uh, this guy. S, the per phase power S phi is given by a V A N over I. I'm oh, sorry. The um, per, per phase power S sub phi is given by the um, the the phase voltage VAN times one times the phase current conjugate I sub A conjugate. By the way, we don't need this, but note that this is AN and A. It's all we could also use V B N and I B conjugate. That would give you the same power. We could also use VCN IC conjugate. All three of those should give us the same value. Okay, we just we just need this one. So so IA conjugate is S S phi over VAN. It's uh, 144 plus J192 over um, VAN. Okay, we have the magnitude of VAN, 14.5, 14, 14 but we need a phaser. So here, here's where, since, since you're not given a phase angle on, on this, just choose this one to be the reference. So just make it zero degrees. Okay, so basically I just choose uh, VAN as, as a reference, basically because I don't have any other angle given for, for voltages anyway. No, 
Okay, so don't confuse the, the voltage angles with this 53 degrees. That's something different, all right? Pause the video if you need to stop and think about that, but that's that. So answer, punch these numbers out. It's gonna be 101.8 plus J135.7. And um, so I, A is the conjugate of that. So it's 101.8 minus J135.7, which in polar form is, we're, we're gonna need is 169.7 angle minus 53.13 amps. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the answer that we're looking for is IA, you know, um, I phase, just one of the phase currents is, remember there's gonna be three phase currents and they're all gonna have the same magnitude. So we just use the magnitude of I spade, so it's gonna be 169.7 amps, and that's the first answer. Okay, that was part A. Okay, part B. <clears throat> Um, just use Ohm's law here. So uh, Z for any given phase is that that um, through here, right? We're just using Ohm's law through here. We could use V. We could use V A N and I A because we're using. We could use A phase this one, but you could also use B phase and C phase. It would just be uh, VBN and IB, right? You could. So just, um, this is, um, uh, this is 14, 14.5 angles, zero is VAN. And we just solved for uh, 160, 169.7 uh, angle minus 53 degrees. It's, um, this is equal to um, 5 plus J 6.67 X, <clears throat> excuse me, w which is equal to um, 8.33 angle, 50, 53 degrees. There's our 53 degrees again, and that show, that's here. In the impedance diagram, it's also not coincidentally the same in the power diagram. That is not a coincidence. It's you know that's what this, this theta phi is telling you. It's telling you the relationship between the real power and the complex power. It's also telling you the relationship between the the resistance and the reactance. So yeah, so we um, so this is R and this is X. Is there a big X there for? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, so we know these now. So this is 6.67, and this is 5. And this is the two answers that they're looking for. And the uh, resist R sub L and X sub L. It's the same for any all three of these phases here, all three of these loads. And we know somewhere along there we knew we figured out. So back to the time domain, this is Eli. Voltage leads the current because the impedance is positive. Uh, the uh, reactance is positive. The angle is positive. So it's Eli. That means the voltage is ahead of the current by this phase angle, 53 degrees. And somewhere along the line, we figured these magnitudes out, didn't we? Yeah, th this one here is, uh, it's 1414. And uh, this one, I, is uh, 169. Okay. So a pr pretty simple problem, only a couple of calculations, but there's a lot of, stuff to uh, keep straight. This is a good problem. I, 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 um, this is a really good problem. Make sure you understand this one. Okay, thanks.